got this thing out. The overhead gantry crane definitely saved the day. This chain hook here on the back of the head was super sketchy the whole time. I felt like I was going to drop it. Additionally, probably would have been easier to pull the trans knowing what I know now, but as you can see, there's years of leakage going on and I didn't really want to fight that under the car. I'm going to split these apart now and get the long block up on the engine stand and we'll get after cleaning this mess up. You just saw me pull the head off and it was stuck on there pretty good this old gasket is super brittle you can see part of it went with the head but if you look down here in the cylinders number two and number three have significantly less carbon I think that's where we were leaking uh, coolant in that steam will really clean off that carbon on those pistons compared to number four and number one there. I'm really stoked. The bores here look great. Not going to be able to tell on camera, but they've still got some crosshatch and there's no, no ridges or lips or any vertical striations or anything like that. So super happy there. We should probably go ahead and take a look at the head while we're here. You can see right here where we took some of that head gasket between two and three and also the uh, combustion chambers are pretty clean and scoured there so definitely think that's where our leak was. Overall everything looks pretty good though. I'm going to get this front pulley pulled off, crank pulley, and disassemble the rest of this timing cover and I'll put you on a time lapse for that. That last shot you saw me uh, take this front timing cover off and since then I've done a lot of cleanup. I've cleaned up the gasket surfaces pretty well on the front timing cover area and the head gasket. Right now I've got everything taped up and I'm getting ready to attack this block with the wire wheel. Clean up all the remaining crud that's on it. We're going to go around with the wire wheel, get this all cleaned up so we can get some paint on this bad boy. Make it look good. got everything uh, wire wheeled we clean this thing up the best we can it's significantly cleaner than it was as you can see we've gone through and taped off any machine portions of this block all these spots are really where accessories just bolt so not that critical but I went ahead and did it we're about ready to shoot this thing using this duplicolor engine enamel pretty highly rated online so we'll see how it goes the directions call for two light coats and one medium heavy coat. I think that's probably as light as I feel like going. I'll bring you back when we get on to the color coats. It's time for some color. Everybody yell your guesses out at the screen. And we'll see if you're right. Ooh, that's bright. For everybody that guessed red, you're a winner. Really put the camera in a bad spot. 
be the nicest thing on the truck. All right, we're going to stop there. We're going to try to stick with the recommended two light coats, one medium heavy. Sweet. I went ahead and shot the oil pan with a little black paint. That's looking sharp. I've got a whole table here full of cleaned up parts. Uh, the head, which was filthy, is looking pretty sharp. I uh, pulled the valve train, lapped the valves, and didn't shoot any video of that. We're just going to pretend like we didn't see any of the horrors that we saw in there. I really need a, a little bit of machine work on this on some exhaust valves and some seats. However, uh, my local machine shops are you know, anywhere from 5 to 10 weeks out or quoted me an exorbitant price. It's a 40 plus year old truck, so we should be in good shape with that. Uh, it's if nothing else, an improvement over what we did have. We've got the front timing cover cleaned up here. This was also super filthy. It's looking pretty good. Water pumps cleaned up. I got a new timing kit here. Upper and lower sprockets, tensioner, chain, and both guides, as well as a new oil pump to go on. Getting ready to go ahead and throw that stuff on the front of the engine. And so I busted out my big gasket set here, complete gasket set, and I'm going through it. This is uh, exhaust stuff we're not going to use. Cork oil pan gasket, not going to use. We got our valve cover gasket here, that's pretty nice. Front main seal, rear main seal, more valve cover stuff. EGR parts, not going to use. Exhaust manifold gaskets, a couple more seals. This is our timing cover set, which is nice. And I get down to the head gasket, and look at this thing. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, you know, obviously that's not a combustion area, but, you know, I don't really want to deal with all this again. Luckily, parts for this old truck are pretty cheap. I found wholesaler closeout Felpro gaskets on Rock Auto for 10 bucks a piece. So I went ahead and ordered two of those. You know, the real bummer is I got this gasket set, I think 40 days ago. So I'm about 10 days out of the return window or six days, I don't remember. You know, typically Rock Auto is really good about that kind of thing. But you know, if you don't open and inspect your parts, I guess that's on me. However, everything looked good. Obviously this head gasket was shrunk wrap like this. What do you do? You know, this comes with the territory. Always inspect your parts. We've now got about seven to 10 days waiting on parts before I can get this back together. There's still some things to do. We've still got the filthy transmission back here that we need to clean up. We can also go ahead and clean up all of our hardware for the various pieces. We'll uh, do that on the bench grinder. That'll kill some time. In addition to that, I can go ahead and spend some time cleaning up the engine bay further. All these frame rails are caked with years of oil leaks. I wanna get rid of this charcoal canister. We're gonna put a catch can in its place and just kinda generally tidy everything up. So that'll give me some time to do that. Unfortunately, that means we're not going camping probably for the next two weeks which is a real bummer, but them's the brakes. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I know this has been a short video, but uh, you know, when your parts are bad and you're waiting on them, there's not much you can do. It hasn't been super fulfilling this week. Cleaning up everything has been nice. I'm looking forward to uh, a leak-free clean engine bay, but you know, not finishing things in a timely manner absolutely just grinds my gears. Stay tuned next week. We'll get this thing finished up throw her back in and hopefully do some camping. See you then.